You know, if there's any one thing that the internet seems to love more than anything else, it's finding a new reason to worry. It's especially true if the reason includes something potentially catastrophic that humankind can't change. The Earth's magnetic field is a great example. The field has flipped from north to south many times during this planet's life, and we might be overdue for it to happen again. Numerous components of technology and even some animal physiology depends on the magnetic field. So would the next great flip send us all back to the Stone Age as confused creatures with no sense of direction? Oh, we'll get there. But first, a little backstory for those who aren't aware. The Earth's magnetic field is driven by the planet's molten iron outer core. As the electrically charged liquid flows around, it creates a magnetic field that extends out of the core and envelops the planet. It's been happening inside the Earth for 3.5 billion years. The magnetic field is a vital tool for shielding the planet from solar radiation that would strip our atmosphere away pretty quickly if the Earth was left unprotected. The magnetic field is also responsible for a lot of animal navigation. Everything from sea creatures to birds to even the compasses that we use. The magnetic field is kind of a directional home base that living creatures use to figure out what's what about what. If the magnetic field disappeared forever, things would get pretty rough around here. Most, if not all, living creatures would be toast. It wouldn't happen overnight, but it would happen. But that's very unlikely anytime soon. And even the limitless destructive human capabilities can't do much to speed up the process. The flip, where magnetic north becomes magnetic south and vice versa, happens pretty often, geologically speaking. On average, the period between flips, which are called crons, lasts about 450,000 years. Crons have been as short as a few years and as long as several million. The magnetic field reversed very briefly about 41,000 years ago, but the flip only lasted for about 250 years. Nobody's entirely sure if that resets the cron clock, and some equations don't even count that one. The last enduring flip happened 780,000 years ago, so yeah, who knows? Science uses a dreaded term to describe magnetic flips, statistically random. The true North Pole has moved hundreds of kilometers further north since first being reached in 1831, and the speed of movement is increasing. It's up to 55 kilometers per year these days. But animals aren't bonking into each other, and planes aren't falling from the sky, so maybe it's not such a big deal at all. Should we even care where the damn thing is? In reality, the flip itself doesn't matter very much at all. The worst part would be a brief period of confusion for many of the planet's animals, and the fact that geographic names would no longer make any sense. North America would suddenly be south of South America. Any human technology that uses planetary magnetism for direction would be 180 degrees off, which is a fairly easy software fix and probably implemented long before the flip completes. Despite the oceans of panicky saliva produced by doomsday prophets about mass extinctions from a magnetic reversal, actual science just isn't that worried. But just hang on. A weakened magnetic field during the flip is a bigger concern. Evidence shows that the field strength dropped to 5% of normal during the last quickie flip 40,000 years ago. And that certainly meant more cosmic radiation hacking away at the atmosphere. Historically, most flips have taken at least a thousand years to complete, so that's a pretty long time to be left unprotected. If that's not confusing enough, there's evidence that the field strength hardly changed at all during other reversals. Even if it did virtually disappear briefly though, the interaction between solar particles and the Earth's atmosphere would produce magnetism of its own. It would create kind of a temporary self-shielding effect that would likely last long enough to let the big boy magnetic field get its house in order and start protecting the Earth again. So, it appears that a magnetic flip would be little more than a nuisance that makes our maps look pretty silly for a half million years, give or take. The statistical randomness of the whole thing makes it difficult to know for sure, and that's ripe territory for all kinds of dramatic hyperbole. But there's no meaningful evidence of any mass extinctions or planetary chaos resulting from any other magnetic flips, and that might have to be good enough for now. If you like this video, like and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.